even feel like we got a little uh, warm up to the cold. It just went from warm and hot Boom. to I need my heavy coats out and right 80, now. 80 again on Friday. So we're going to go right back oh. up. You, have you warmed up from Saturday night? You know, I wasn't so bad because they had heaters down there. So whenever the, um, all the the benches, and then they also had the portable heaters too, but the benches also had heat. But so when the offense would go out on the field, I'd go stand by the defense heater. And when the defense would go out on the field, I'd go stand next to the uh, offense heater. So yeah, I, um, whenever there was nobody standing around you, one of the port, I there. just snuck in there and <laughs> you can kind of feel it even from like standing behind it. So I stayed pretty warm. Good. Well, glad you you warmed up. If you if you liked offense, you love Saturday night's game. I mean, there was almost a 1,100 yards of offense. Uh, obviously, there were a lot of points with the 43-37 final. It was a record-setting game for Trey Palmer. He was absolutely unbelievable. He was incredible in that game. He just ran past Purdue defenders all night. I kind of had a feeling as we got out of the fourth quarter, the team that's going to have the ball last is going to win. And to Purdue's credit, they they ran out the last. 555 off the clock we never got the ball back from him yeah i mean so disappointing but i i i walked away from that game not feeling disappointed and i think there were a lot of positives that happened i think to see the offense get going again after they struggled the week before to see trey palmer really turn it loose and on the sideline again it, there was never a doubt you know there was a lot of confidence and even after they scored the last touchdown, boy, they all believe that they were going to go win that football game. And, I, you know, I, I think that's a good sign that they still very much believe that they were going to go win that football game. And so I think Purdue is one of the toughest matchups, the tougher matchups, I think, that's left on the schedule other than Michigan. I think as far as Aiden O'Connell and, and that offense is, is a really brutal matchup. And, you know, I think this offense has shown that they can – when they get it going, they can score on anybody. And I think Whipple had a great game plan, and I know it was quick and it was fast, which, I, again, maybe goes to why the defense struggled at times. But, uh, you know, with having the, the offensive line issues and the shuffling, I thought they drew up a lot of great plays to get the offense going, even despite that. So, I don't know. I, I, I took a lot of positives away, and I think this team did too, even, even though they came away with a loss. And now Purdue, shoot, they're getting uh, – top 25 votes and they should yes that's a quality team and, and I, I pointed this out several times in the broadcast they are 64 seconds away from being undefeated yeah they also are a team and a program that won their bowl game last year over Tennessee who right now is what third in the country yeah so that's the team they beat in the bowl game last December terrific game it was a little bit like the Oscars I think it was 48 45 so that's that's the difference right there. And I'm not trying to say Nebraska deserves to be in that realm, but they took that team to the wire on their home field and fell behind significantly. They were down 27 to 10 and rallied to get it back with a chance to win the game. That, I like the fight. I like the fight all the way to the end of these guys. Yeah, absolutely. And, and again, even when they were down by multiple scores with this offense that can, when they get it going, can really score at will. And so you never really... You don't want to get down that much, but you also don't question that they can score quickly and get back in it. And, and that's, you know, once they got the ball back at the end of the first half, it was, okay, we got to move quickly. And then they, they drove the field and, and had the uh, field goal there at the end of the first half. But, you know, the, it, they showed that they can move it quickly. And then, you know, a couple of weeks ago, they showed that they could slow it down. So hopefully when you get Brock Bando back and you maybe get some guys back healthy on the offensive line, you can get back to where you're, controlling the clock a little bit more but you just when you can score like that you're never out of a football game and they showed that here's nebraska's last couple of scoring drives folks the last one three plays 70 yards the one before that was two plays 75 yards the one before that six plays 72 yards the one before that four plays 71 yards those are their last four scoring drives and so the defense was out there all night. Purdue snapped the ball 101 times, Nebraska 52. And it was a six-point game. Just a bizarre game in a lot of ways. It really is. And, you know, we're going to hear from Casey Thompson coming up. But he talks about it. And, and he will be the first to say, I missed some throws. We heard Mickey Joseph say at halftime, field goals are not going to work, are not going to cut it in this game. And they had to settle for a couple of field goals. And um, But, yeah, they... Um, they move the ball really well and, and quickly. And, I, you know, again, shout out to Mark Whipple, Mickey Joseph. The game plan was great. They knew that Trey Palmer was going to be a problem. 
that's what to me I think is so encouraging Trey Palmer did what he did and there's not going to be a lot of defensive backs that can match up with Trey Palmer especially nope. one of, there's not I just don't think there is a defensive back that can match up with Trey Palmer one-on-one -on -one for an entire game but that's where you love the depth and talent in that wide receivers room if they do try to start taking Trey Palmer out of it that's where you got an Oliver Martin you got a Marcus Washington and you spread them out and that is what allows for this offense to be so explosive and allows Trey Palmer to get some of these big plays because okay you're going to take Marcus Washington out of it. You're going to take Tr Travis Volkolek out of it. You're going to take Oliver Martin. We've seen him make some great catches too. There's just, it, it, it can be a problem for offenses if you only have one good wide receiver. But this offense has three or four really good wide receivers and then also a really elite tight end that you can get the ball around to. And even Chancellor Brewington has shown some really, uh, the ability to make some explosive plays. So it doesn't, I think that's what's so encouraging is seeing that offense get going and okay, people are might start, keying in on Trey Palmer. All right, good luck taking Marcus Washington out of the game plan. The single greatest receiving day in the history of this program. That is saying a lot, and that was Trey Palmer Saturday night, eclipsing the record set by J.D. Spielman a couple years ago. So kudos to him. Unfortunately, he wasn't a, a conference player of the week. I'm not sure how that happens. I mean, he leads the NCAA in receiving yards at this point in time of the season. He's just been fantastic for the Huskers. Hey, buckle up with the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Want to hear from you tonight. 402-413-2400. We've talked a lot about the offense. The defense certainly had their issues. We said it all last week that O'Connell is a terrific quarterback. That's a guy that I think will play in the National Football League, and he made a ton of great throws in that game. Didn't Made the one mistake on the first drive of the game where he overthrew threw a guy and Malcolm Hartsog had the pick. Huskers just couldn't get to him in time. And, and the biggest play of the game was really fourth and three at midfield in the in the last four minutes. He scrambles for the first down. So his legs got him the biggest first down of the game. Because if they don't get that, Nebraska's going to have the ball with plenty of time left. And the ball at midfield to try to go grab the lead. And, and I think anybody who was watching that game who was there believes we were going to go down and do that. But it was, I thought the defense did a couple nice things in the way, but sometimes you tip your cap. The other guy was just better, and that's what I thought O'Connell was uh, on on Saturday night. But we certainly want your thoughts. Again, 402-413-2400 with a call or a text. We will start tonight out in North Platte with Jim. Good evening, Jim. Welcome to the program. Yes, good evening to you both. I guess what really upset me Saturday, giving up a giving up even a lot of points and giving up over 600 yards. Oklahoma could have gained over 600 yards against us. Georgia Southern did, and basically for Purdue, do. We need to stop the run. Here's my main issue. We have to get to the quarterback. You can't give him 40 seconds to find a receiver. Somebody's got to contain him. Thank you. All right. Appreciate the phone call. Yeah, I mean, no sacks, only two tackles for a loss. They just didn't get enough pressure on him. And you, when you play Purdue, because they're so good in a passing game, you've got to try to limit their running attack. And, and that didn't happen. Purdue was able with Maccabi to get the run game going. I thought Nebraska did a better job in half number two. Uh, to, to cutting off some of the run game. But Maccabi goes for 178. Doru, who we didn't think was going to play, had uh, eight carries for 31 yards. And you, you got to make Purdue fight you with one hand. And, and Nebraska didn't do that. They, they could run it and they could throw it. That's why they put up 43 points in the game. Yeah, and boy, it just really hurt Nick Hendricks going out already not having Luke Reimer. And we knew that was going to be could be a problem not having Luke Reimer already. But then when you lose Nick Henrich and you know what, I think uh, for the most part, everyone seemed to be was pretty complimentary of the way that Va and Ernest Hausman stepped in. I do I, I do want to go back to Nick Henrich because boy, just so sad to see him go down. You hate that for him. He just can't seem to stay healthy this year. But I, I thought the way he came back out on crutches in his knee brace and when a leader goes down like that, you can it can really hurt the team's morale, right? And and he boy, he wanted to make sure that the team knew I'm okay. Go win this football game. You know, he was very hey, it's okay. He he tr he knew that this could really bring down a football team and, and and his defense. And so boy, he was so convicted about making sure that he was like, "Hey, 
He was smiling. You're all right. You're good. And he'd sit down there. He'd talk to the linebackers. He'd go talk to the defensive line and trying to keep this team up, trying to coach them up. And so, uh, but yeah, that, that hurts and that hurts moving forward. And, uh, you know, we, we've said it all along. There's not a lot of depth at inside linebacker. Those two guys are such seasoned veterans. They've played a lot of football together. And if either one of them went down, it could be an issue. And we'll see. Good thing that the bye week is coming now. You can maybe get those guys. And I think they've been coming along. The more reps you get, the better you get. I don't, we don't have an update on, on Nick. And I don't know if they're going to make Coach Joseph available at all this week. I've not seen that they are. It didn't look good. Folks, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It did not look good for Nick uh, for prognosis for him to come back. And he gets hurt in the Northwestern game, misses a couple of games, gets back, starts playing pretty good football again, and gets hurt again the other night. Luke, I think, is close. He made the trip. I think he's close. I think with a bye week, I'm confident Reimer will play against Illinois. I, I am too. I think he will be okay. And usually if you're really hurt, you don't travel. But right. I think that speaks to Luke that – and also he's, you know, he's a leader and he was coaching up the defense too. And so, um, yeah, I think hopefully he'll be close. And I, I think we're seeing some good things come from Ba and – you know, Ernest Hausman, the more he plays, the better. And I don't he wasn't even didn't even play inside linebacker in high school, I don't think. No. Nope. He was a defensive end, right? Right. Yeah. So he's just learning, learning a as he goes. And he's very smart and has a lot of upside and is really talented. They really like him. He's gonna keep getting better as we go. And you know, I thought and Damon talked a lot about this coming out of the half. The adjustments were there in the they third were. quarter. We did a better job against the run game in half number two. But boy, did they cut us up. And the credit, again, credit Purdue. Jeff Brom, and I'm not making this up when I say these things, folks, during the week or on the broadcast. He's one of the best offensive coaches in the country. He just, he is. They, they have a really good scheme that they run. Art in Los Angeles on our text line. Greg, why when we had it first and goal at the four, did we have three passing plays? and need to run it down there. The odds are much better to get a touchdown pass. Yeah, I, I'm more of a proponent. At least one of those plays needed to be a running play. But I will say this, Art. And it's one of the throws that I know is Casey probably didn't sleep thinking about. Alante was wide open in the back of the end zone. That's a throw you got to make. Casey would be the first guy to go, that's totally on me, because that would have been a touchdown. He said it. He says it. You know, he absolutely. And boy, Alante Brown, he's so deserving oh. of a touchdown. He doesn't have one, right? And he does so many good things. I know Mickey Joseph was talking about his, he had a block on one of Trey's big runs. Yes. And and Mike Cusano, and even before Mike took over, when it was Mickey coaching the wide receivers, boy, they are so complimentary of him and the things that he does. And he has elite speed too. So he sure he's another wide receiver that if you get him out there, and then Tommy Hill got a couple opportunities who has elite speed. So you get those guys, if people start trying to game plan around Trey Palmer, you got guys that you can get the ball to. But, oh, I was so disappointed for Alante. I wanted him so badly to get that score no doubt let's go to the phones again over to iowa and troy good evening troy welcome to sports highly hello yes first of all i want to say i'm proud of our guys for fighting to the end uh and i saw huge improvements and i want to say if i remember right purdue wasn't that far from being an unbeaten team this year and i'm just proud of our guys overall i mean i've seen a lot of improvement they fought to the end and, you know, uh, that's all I need to say. Thank Great. you very much. Troy, appreciate it. I think a lot of Husker fans would echo what you would have, what would say there. And you're right. I said this earlier in the show. Purdue, 64 seconds away from being undefeated. Lost to Penn State. He was ranked in the top 10 until they lost to Michigan the other day. And the other loss is to Syracuse, who was undefeated still at 6-0. and And they're, bull, they're a bowl winner eight months ago against the Tennessee team that now is the darling in the country. Ranked third in the country and would be in the playoffs right now if the college football season ended. Purdue's a quality team. I was very, very proud of the way they kept fighting and clawing and scratching and they got down multiple scores at multiple points in the game and there was no wavering on that sideline and that is you know again just speaks volumes to the mentality that mickey joseph has helped put in place for this team because there were times in those first few games that when things started going wrong and there was some adversity that hit this team not i don't want to say folded up the tent but the boy they they lost a lot of confidence but this team that neither offense nor defense they never lost confidence they never lost belief for a second in that game and I, I think that is absolutely huge when you talk about being able to bounce back from this one I think they still believe that there's a lot of good things that could happen with this football team moving forward text coming in says no sacks means no Big Mac sack free Big Macs for everybody that's what the fans are really disappointed about haha -ha, I'm kidding of course 
Hey, I think about it too. When we get late <laughs> in the game, we're like, no, no Big Mac's coming my way on Monday. So, oh, I know, and I know that this game wants to make it happen, but I, you know. I just don't even really remember us being that close, honestly. Maybe there a couple times one, he had to step up. And there were, I think, wasn't there one that should, or was that a tackle for loss that should have been? I don't. Know. wasn't very often. Yeah, he was pretty clean. He didn't get knocked down too much in the game, and that and that that is disappointing. Hey, folks, go visit a participating ag code dealer between now and November the fourth, and enter for a chance to win a pair of tickets to the Nebraska. Wisconsin football game in Lincoln on November 19th, plus pregame tailgate. See participating at co-locations across Nebraska, and you could be a winner this season. We'll take another caller before we hit our first break. Let's go to West Point. Pete, you're up next. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How you doing? Hanging in there, Pete. Well, I guess kind of what I think is, is you're not going to win a whole lot of games unless we get a little better on the offensive and defensive lines. I do think the linebacker going down and not having our two starting linebackers really hurt us. They ran that drag route, and they really needed some help on that drag route, and our linebackers weren't getting out there to help cover on that. But uh, I like the fight. Uh, I'm just not sure how much they can do in two weeks. I told you at the beginning we had about six weeks of preseason that uh, didn't really practice well. Uh, it's going to take Mickey about six weeks to get to, to get that corrected. So I think there's hope. I think Mickey's doing a really good job, especially for coaches. He he position to be put in in his uh, position there. Um, so we'll see how the season shakes out. I think they'll slowly get a little bit better, but uh, I am concerned about the lines uh, not getting much improvement. Thank you, Pete. Appreciate it. Spot on, right? Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, the um, the offensive line, too, just, boy, how much would we love to have Nuri and Teddy, and then now you go, then you lose Brock. You know, you're down three starters. Right. And people, you got guys playing in positions that they hadn't played in or weren't going to play in. I mean, Bryce Bidhar was a right guard at times. And then went out to tackle. And yeah. so it's just so hard when you have to shuffle them like that, and they're just um, – and then it's crazy, too, because I'm just looking at the numbers of bodies, and, boy, that just keeps dwindling, especially on the road when the hurt guys don't travel. And so, you know, it, it, there's not a lot of depth right now in the offensive line room and you've already got them moving around and so yeah that that really hurts and I think that the defensive line um hopefully they, they've shown some flashes but I, I think yeah they've um they got to be able to create some more pressure and and then he mentioned the inside linebackers and not even just like the tackling and the being a part of the defense but also being the quarterbacks of that defense you lose that too out there on the field when you have those guys out Folks, keep them coming. It's a Monday after a Husker football weekend, 402-413-2400. Call or text. That's our Sports Only Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. More calls, more texts. We're going to hear Jessica's post-game interview with Casey Thompson. All that coming up. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <laughs> It's time again for some Nebraska farm facts. For Nebraska soybean farmers, sustainability is a way of life. 97% of farms are family owned and 95% are participating in conservation programs and using sustainable practices. And they have significant sustainability goals by 2025. 10% more energy efficiency, 10% less land and 25% less soil erosion. 
This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Preparation is the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Bank of the West is offering the first checking account designed for climate action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you. Shows you the estimated carbon impact of debit card purchases. And there's no minimum balance required. Learn more at bankofthewest.com slash 1%. Additional conditions apply. Member FDIC. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Every day, Central Valley Ag supplies energy to our farmers to help feed the globe. CVA continuously monitors propane levels to ensure neither you nor your animals go a day without heat this winter in your home, shop, or livestock barn. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Visit cvacoop.com and learn how you can lock in CVA propane pricing when you register to win heat for the entire winter with tank monitoring valued over $1,500. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raise local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier. John Deere Dieter supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres Solutions, 
for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Monday night post-Husker game at Purdue bye week, the second one of the year coming up this week. We did learn today that Nebraska's next game with Illinois will be at 2.30. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Tired of the night games. Me too. Frick of the road ones. Yeah, yeah. It's a long day, and then you got to travel back, and – I don't know, I, and I know the players flying. don't like it, you know. I mean, it's always, it is a great atmosphere at night here at home, but I know they prefer, they don't like to sit around all day. We did land before Coat and Jay Foreman wrapped up Big Red. Right? Really? We were we landed, ten, they had 10 minutes left on the show. Wow. So I heard the very end of the broadcast <laughs> with those two guys. Uh, a text from Ben, he says, I hope Mickey gets a real look as head coach. He is coaching the heck out of a team who is flat miserable on both lines and making these games close if he had a decent ORD line he would have a chance at a bowl game as I see it there is no chance now I I, I don't know that I agree with that Ben I think there's still some winnable games for this team and I, I know Mickey's not going to let the team feel that way that they have no chance to get to a bowl game and I agree with you I think Mickey is coaching his tail off here's my thing yeah and they're going to take it one game at a time but I I said it in that first segment I think Purdue was probably the toughest matchup other than Michigan on the schedule. Illinois, I know they have an elite defense, but their offense is not blowing the doors off people. Right. And, you know, neither is obviously Iowa's not, Wisconsin's not, and I, they've scored a few points the last couple of weeks, but the teams that are playing, we're playing moving forward other than Michigan don't necessarily have elite offenses. Purdue had an elite offense. So when you talk about a defense that, you know, has struggled sometime up front, I think it's not it's uh it's encouraging that we don't have another purdue offense left on the schedule is what i'm saying and i understand that the defenses that we are about to face are elite but i think at times our offense has looked elite and we have coordinators and coaches that have been able to game plan and still put up points on the board so you know um yeah i think I'm I'm not counting out that this team is done, has no chance of getting to a bowl game. And again, it's one game at a time. That's we'll right. see how it goes from right. here on out. We still out. have five to go, so we'll see what and happens. And a much-needed bye week right now. No doubt. Buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. All right, after the game, you got to talk to a couple of players, one of those being Casey Thompson. His final numbers for the game, 16-29. Two touchdown passes. He did throw two interceptions. So it was one of those games where Casey probably will remember the bad plays more than the good plays. But he was under pressure, again, almost all night long. So you you had a chance to catch up with him. And he will go back and watch the film, and he will be his own worst critic. So, you know, he'll – he'll and he even says this, that there are some things that he could have done better that could have maybe made the difference in this game. So here is Casey Thompson after the game. Kahuti here with quarterback Casey Thompson. Well, I know disappointing finish, but you had to like the way the offense got going today. Yeah, I mean, we we scored 37 points, had almost 500 yards of offense, um, you know, but we would like to start faster, score more points throughout the whole game. Um, Purdue is a good football team on offense and defense, and we knew it was going to be a shootout. I mean, everybody um, kind of knew what kind of game this was going to be, so we just had to score a little bit more points. Um, the yards was great, but we just want to score a little bit more points, um, especially whenever we're uh, behind the eight ball, you know, they had they had the ball for almost 100 plays. We had the ball 50, 50 something plays, 52, whatever it was. And uh, they controlled the clock. They had the ball for 40 minutes out of, the, out of a 60 minute game. So um, but we, we'd have to just limit the mistakes, limit the sacks, uh, limit the hits. Uh, you know, we can't have uh, penalties. We can't have, uh, you know, drop passes, missed throws, turnovers, interceptions. So have to do a better job of protecting the football. Um, you know, we. Uh, the two turnovers that that we that we had, um, they scored six points off of them, and we lost by six. You know, so I thought we we could do a better job in that area for sure. School record for Trey Palmer. It's undeniable the connection that you two have. Can you speak to just the, the talent that he is, the elite talent that he is? Yeah, he just he gets open. Um, he does a good job of reading the field. He has elite speed, and uh, he's just a really good playmaker. He's he's a good player, and uh, I think he's getting better and better each week. Actually, you can see it. Uh, on Saturdays on the game, but I mean we see it every day at practice. You know he's getting better. Uh, anybody that's in the program, around the program, that watches Trey, they know uh, he's a special player and he has elite speed. And uh, uh, you know we're going to continue to make plays and uh, give give our offense. I mean every game we've been in, we've had a chance you know to win except for one. So we're going to continue to do that and we're going to rely on Trey uh, and the rest of these guys as well. Last thing I got for you, I mean one two in a row we're right there in this one yeah. still a lot of football left to play how much do you guys believe and with a bye week coming that you know again still plenty of good things to come for this football team uh you know like 
like I said, every game that we've been in, except for one, we've come down to the wire. Um, I mean, have to have to get our team a lot of credit. I mean, we were fighting all the way to the end, um, all through four quarters. I mean, offense, defense, special teams. Um, and there's a lot of belief and confidence in this team right now behind Mickey Joseph. Um, we, we won a few games in the fourth quarter, and tonight, you know, we didn't come out on top in the fourth. Um, and Purdue uh, did a good job executing late in the game, and we didn't. But uh, we have to just keep our heads up and stay confident. Uh, you know, I know it's easier to say uh, than to do after a loss, but, you know, we, we came out uh, on the short end of the stick this time, but the last few weeks we, we came out on top uh, in the fourth quarter. So uh, we know that this conference is, is wide open and it's going to come down to these type of games. So we just have to take uh, one, one game at a time and take it one week and one day at a time. And this bye week is good for us to get better and uh, to get our bodies back healthy. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay, he's just so impressive the way he handles everything. But you heard him talking about Trey, about how he thinks Trey's getting better each and every week. And Kate, that guy right there, Casey Thompson and Trey Palmer, are two of the reasons why I still have a lot of faith and confidence in this football team because, boy, they believe and they want to win so badly. I told you this after Trey scored one of his touchdowns. He, people were trying to stop him and celebrate, and, boy, he just – was speed walking down to go talk to the uh, to the defense and hype up the defense and I can't for the life of me can't get Trey Palmer to talk about himself and he wants his team to win so badly he's so convicted about it so those two guys right there and the way that they still believe in this football team that's why you know everybody should still believe in this football team Trey Palmer and the folks in the chat room have been discussing this want to know about his eligibility he does have one more year of eligibility left in college I don't think he's coming back. Yeah. I think all the NFL scouts are starting to drool. I think he is moving up uh, draft boards in a hurry. And you're seeing just, again, if you put him in one-on-one, -on -one, they're just – he is getting open and he's making great catches the speed is there he's going to run a fast 40 obviously it's which is kind of sneaky fast right i mean but yeah i think he's he unfortunately sadly yeah. probably is going to have an opportunity to go pretty high in the draft which you want guys to do you want to and that's absolutely. that's also a good recruiting tool still absolutely it's why mickey joseph has been able to continue to get wide receivers to come play for him because of those opportunities right there that he's training guys to be ready for a text from joe in papillion have the huskers considered switching from the big mac sack to the hurry mcflurry <laughs> Some ice cream would go a long way with our fan base. I, I kind of like that. That's a clever little thing right there, huh? Yeah, you, maybe good. you could throw that in there. And the chat room wants you to dress up on Halloween. They want you to, too. Well, yeah, I mean, Andrew could take my place and dress up. Give, maybe give me some suggestions to take a poll, and oh we'll see. We'll That's think dangerous. about it. That's dangerous, Nate. <laughs> I said just, I'll think about it. You just asked for it. They're going to come pouring in now for what, uh, what they want you to dress up. So, uh, yeah, we'll take that under advisement. <laughs> hey, fans, you could win a Husker football road trip package. This is pretty cool, courtesy of AAA Nebraska. Package includes two tickets to the Black Friday game in Iowa City, give you a gas card and hotel accommodations. Enter at huskers.com slash triple A road trip. Huskers.com slash triple A road trip. Expect something more with triple A. 402-413-2400. Phone lines, text lines wide open. Back with more of the show coming up. Shop Woodhouse Chevy first and experience the difference today. Whether you're looking for a new car, truck, or SUV, we have you covered. Our educated sales team will guide you to the perfect vehicle with features you need to fit your lifestyle so you can leave our lot feeling confident in your purchase. Plus, we make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in-store or online at WoodhouseGM.com. Find a trusted auto partner and new roads at Woodhouse Chevy in Missouri Valley, Iowa. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Cenex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. First of all, I want to tell you guys how proud I am of you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for how hard you've worked. You've gone through a lot, all this adversity. And I can't begin to tell you how proud I am of you. Thank you for representing us so well. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for Sports Nightly at 6 p.m. as Trev Alberts hosts his monthly athletic director show, taking your calls and texts through 7 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Here's to the locals. 
raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raise local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. Husker students on the debate team and Bateman Competition Public Relations team earned national championships this past year, marking a first for each program. The debate team claimed victory with one of the youngest teams in the country, while the Bateman Competition Public Relations team won their championship by building a PR campaign for the Lymphoma Research Foundation. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY2000 through 2021 sales. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Monday night, 402-413-2400. That's the number if you want to dial up 
and give a comment to us here on the air or fire off a text. And we're getting a lot of suggestions about your costume for Halloween. Somebody wants you to be a car? I, I'm wondering, they said a 1984 Ford, um, what was it, a 1984 Ford Escort. How do you, I, I, I Googled it. I don't know how to. I, how well, would I build the car? Yeah, you don't have time to build something. Yeah. That would require I, you building I need, like a. Give me some creative comments that is easy to execute because I am not creative. I'm not artsy, so I can't paint anything. I can't sew anything. I need it to be a no brainer. Somebody wants Tim to be a hockey player. I think that would be pretty good. He do that. surely would be able to do that. Chad in Rising City, think about how hard it is for our defense, short of starters, to come in after those short scoring drives. Purdue 101 plays, Nebraska 52, and we only lose by six, and we threw the ball away twice with interceptions. That has to be hard for the defense. It is. It's the quandary of the night because we really aren't built right now offensively to grind out drives and run clock. We had to score the way we did. And then it puts your – it's a hard thing to, to juggle. I'm with him. He said, you know, I think the the defense is doing pretty well. It was, it's a bend, don't break. And two of them two of them were set up – it was a bad punt that yeah. set up for short, short field. Short field. And then the interception, which the defense held to a field goal. And then, yeah, playing that many snaps because that's what the offense has to do to score – I didn't I was not as dis, uh, discouraged about the defensive performance as a lot of people were because I thought they made good adjustments at halftime. I thought they were they were put in a situation where they had to play a lot of, on the they had to be on the field a lot. And then this is two weeks in a row where they were put in some situations with bad field field advantage for a really good offense in Purdue. So I was I was not I didn't walk away there thinking, oh my gosh, this is terrible by the defense right. And, and where there were adjustments at halftime, and we talked about it on the air. Damon mentioned, you know, he says, okay, Purdue's first drive or two, they didn't score, but then they kind of found some other wrinkle to counteract what Nebraska was doing. And again, that's to the coaching at Purdue. Tip your cap sometimes. The other team can make some of those things happen. Yeah, and there was, what was the stat that he was saying that they're scoring like a point every two seconds or something? Like, that was Nebraska. Yeah. yeah. And so, again, going back to how quickly Nebraska had to score because that's what they had to do um, to be able to get points, that just kind of, you know, it just is not really ideal for your defense when they have to play like that. Hey, buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Got a couple callers coming in. We'll get to those. We need to work in our last short break of the hour. We'll take both Jim and Lee. Hang on the line. We'll get to you after the break. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
At Sidilin Chevrolet, we help you find vehicles designed with purpose and function, prioritizing safety, technology, and the dependability you need. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo to shop in stock and inbound inventory, or to order your new vehicle. And as your Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium duty trucks and low cab forwards. Visit SidDillonChevy.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. Chevy, find new roads. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane. Servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Still a few minutes left in our program. Uh, 402-413-2400 to Omaha we go. Jim, you're up next. Good evening. Hey, uh, good evening. Hey, I don't know if if, if you would happen to be able to pick up on the Big Ten Network post-game interview between Elise Miniker and Jeff Brom after that game. Uh, It seemed like Coach Brom was kind of just kind of stunned at the performance of his quarterback saying he's never really had a quarterback in the game that's played at that level. So if you look at it, Nebraska, I mean, not Nebraska, Purdue, they put 101 yard, 101 plays, over 600 yards, over 40 minutes of possession, and they win that game by six points. I, I think what I'm trying to say is it took that type of a performance to beat Nebraska. That's all I got. I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Like all the things stacked against us, and Nebraska was one possession maybe away from winning the game. Yeah. I mean, and that's kind of been a story that we had. We said a lot last week, but there were times that you and Damon were talking about just some of the throws, the ball placement, right? was a big thing that Damon kept talking about that where Aiden O'Connell was placing the ball that he, it's just, um, you know, it, it was like a shooter where you just are unconscious and you everything looks like the it looks like you're throwing the beach ball into the ocean. Right. That's kind of what I felt like Aiden was on. And, you know, I, I, I agree. I mean, all of that. And Nebraska was right there with a the chance to win that football game. So um, I just was not discouraged after that loss. Jim, good take. Let's uh, stay here in Nebraska. Steve, you're up next here on Sports Sportsnet. Good evening. Hey, Sharpie, uh, it's Steve calling from the Combine tonight. Hey, good luck, buddy. Finish that thing up. Yeah, I'm trying to. Um, Hey, I just uh, had a – you know, we're so used to having a running quarterback, and uh, I I realize that our quarterback's a drop-back passer, but uh, I get frustrated seeing that pocket collapse, and and, uh, is is the run-pass option just completely off the table, do you think, or, or is that still a possibility? Well, I, I just think with Casey, it's probably not something they're going to want to do. He's so beat up otherwise, and when you start getting out of the pocket, you're you're susceptible to more hits. So I don't think that's going to be a big thing moving forward. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. He's pretty banged up right now, and I don't think you want to risk that. Well, great call. Steve, good luck finishing that harvest up there. Our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned you can always find what you are looking for with what else. More of your calls and texts coming up next hour. we got another hour to go. Come Hit on back. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. 
Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBeefeed.com. Triple Beef Feed, helping you and your cattle. And it's going to be just like the old days, you know, but even better. Because now it's old school meets new school. Whoa, did you just dip your pizza in Dorothy Lynch? Yeah, man, it's amazing. Here, I got extra. Try it with your hot dog. Oh, wow. Hey, we need another hot dog over here. So as I was saying, it's a whole new game now. Here we go again. Rooted in our tradition as a team. Shake up tradition with the one-of-a-kind flavor that goes with anything, game day or any day. Dorothy Lynch, endless flavorabilities. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Get a high D Plus premium membership for just $99 a year. And get fuel savings every time you shop in-store and online. Plus, exclusive deals and offers every month. Plus, free standard delivery and free express pickup. With hy Plus, our plus equals more. For a limited time, get $50 off an annual hy Plus membership with code SAVEBIG. That's right, get $50 off a hy Plus membership with code SAVEBIG.
with the GoCurrency.com sports ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelp on the Huskers radio network. Welcome into a new week, Huskers fans. We start with the Nebraska women's volleyball program, fresh off of two more sweeps in conference play, resting Penn State Friday and Northwestern Sunday. The Huskers enter the week still holding firm as the third-ranked team in the country in the latest AVCA poll released today. Having won nine in a row, the Huskers are red hot. Becca Alec was named the Big Ten Freshman of the Week for her role in Nebraska's latest two victories. The middle blocker averaged 2.5 kills per set and 1.33 blocks while leading the team with an attacking percentage of .481 for the Huskers over the last two matches. Elsewhere in Husker sports yesterday, a drover at Gallego finished third for women's tennis at the Newport, Newport Beach Invite, going 5-1 and one at the tournament. As part of the 12 Huskers men's single wins at the tournament uh, for Huskers men's tennis that would be the ITA regionals in Arkansas Ronnie he excuse me that's Roni he Toronto and Calvin Muller both made but fell in the round of eight for men's tennis Huskers rifle won their second match of the year besting number 17 Georgia Southern and number 14 Jacksonville State while their captain Cecilia Ossie was in Egypt placing 22nd in the rifle and pistol world championships Huskers bowling opened their season with a win at the Monte, uh, Montev Penguin Classic, and Husker soccer fell 4 to nothing to Iowa. That was all yesterday. In pro sports tonight, the Yankees and Guardians in a winner-take-all game five of the ALDS. Well, that game's delayed. Not sure if it's going to get played tonight. They're going to try some estimates I've seen, say 9 p.m. Eastern time, 8 p.m. this time, but that might be optimistic at the time. All options, according to the MLB, are on the table for rescheduling, potentially tomorrow, including... Uh, in the NFL today, Robbie Anderson was dealt from the Carolina Panthers to the Arizona Cardinals for the late uh, two late-round picks following his dismissal from the Panthers' sideline during Carolina's loss to the Rams yesterday. The uh, move serves as a stopgap for the Cardinals, who announced today that Marquise Brown will miss the rest of the season due to a foot injury Brown sustained against the Seahawks yesterday. At 7.15 in just a few minutes, it's another primetime Broncos game. Hopefully that carries more weight than last week's dud of a Thursday night football contest for Russell Wilson and company. Denver takes on Justin Herbert and the Chargers in L.A. The, this update is presented by Currency. Currency makes financing quick, easy, and secure for heavy machinery, ag equipment, trucks, trailers, and more. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelm, and Hour 2 of Sports Nightly is next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Lani Dotson, the former BYU Cougar, serves good pass. Maddie, quick attack, pick out. You can't stop her. You just try to contain her. All right, snap back, Casey, looking to throw. Well, holds, throws deep down the field, looking for Palmer at the goal line, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Trey Palmer burns the secondary of the Boilermakers. Now Northwestern in the black tops. Thomas Ayara, triple block. The triple. Second big red block of the afternoon. Keelan Horn, Whitney Lonstein, Allie Payton Horse. That's about 20 feet of combined humanity. Snap. Back to throw, step throws, wide open at the 45, making the catch as Palmer to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, breaks a tackle to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, down to the seven yard line. Another big, huge play by Trey Palmer. He's over 200 yards receiving in this game. Back row, here comes a free ball by the libero, and a near kill until Lexi Rodriguez saved it. Unreal. Free ball over, long shoot set, and a miss hit by Allie Holland. Lexi Rodriguez kept it alive. It's 19-9. They're on their feet and legging. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome back. Hour number two, Sports Island here on a Monday night. So glad you've chosen to take a little time to be with us here after a football weekend. The Huskers lose a tight one in West Lafayette. Uh, terrific atmosphere, really entertaining game, particularly if you like offense. And really, it was a big offensive week around the country jessica you had that alabama tennessee game was phenomenal 52 49 usc utah 43 42 oklahoma kansas 52 42 a lot of points scored this weekend yeah there really was a lot of points being scored and great football games at that i mean my picks didn't go so well i came on the wrong end of some of those great games really? but that's too bad yeah right that's all right. Andrew's feeling good about his. I have a pretty good lead over you, so it's all right. And, Andrew's feeling pretty good over there about yeah. his picks. Andrew might be our weekly winner. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, no, great football being played and a lot of points, yeah. 
lot, of, sure lot of offenses. We're going to hear from O'Shawn Mathis. Uh, he he uh, talked to Jessica after the game on Saturday at West Lafayette. But we certainly want to get some thoughts from all of you. 402-413-2400. That is our Sports Island Hotline, which is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at Woodhouse dot com anytime 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned you can always find what you are looking for at woodhouse to the lines we go let's go to binkelman bart good evening welcome to the program hey thank you for t- taking my call i just want to do a quick little uh shout out for uh, a local man uh he's been a special teams player and got to play a lot more this particular game number 37 phelan sanford who uh, set the people in uh, southwest Nebraska, the needle and the pride meter went way up with the block punt that he did. And he's a young man that's been putting in his time and increasing his value to the team. I just want to make that comment. Glad you did. Bart, I'm glad you did. I know the coaches love Phelan. He has been a terrific addition to this program, a walk-on kid that, you're right, played a lot in the secondary even the other night. Yeah, and, I mean, we've heard Mickey Joseph say his name how many times, and just a good, smart football player. And Joey Connors has done such a good job with the special teams. And, you know, he took over and putting the right people in the right places to be able to make plays like that. And that's, yeah, Phelan's a guy that he believed would be able to be in that spot to go make that play and it's awesome good for him two three that was the third blocked punt of the year for the husker special teams what a market improvement that has been and they've been kind of unlucky honestly folks usually when you block a kick and get the hand on it as much as javen wright did early in the year and what phelan did the other night the ball's going to roll back toward the goal line both of those have skipped forward so they've been kind of unlucky the way the balls come off their hands yeah but it's still just such a huge no matter what if you get a hand on that punt it's such a huge momentum swing and yeah i mean even seeing timmy timmy bleakroot is a guy that is really well liked in this football team and he hasn't had many opportunities to kick field goals because you know a couple of them have been a little out of his range and then the other times they've just scored touchdowns so it was great to see him get going i know this team was really appreciative of him and that was a big momentum uh, moment for this team too is when Timmy got to hit a big field goal and then the punt and so again special teams can just make such a huge difference and I think we've seen tremendous um, I guess much improvement out of the special teams in a lot of different areas still would like to see a big punt return but the kickoff return you you guys said it all night Tommy Hill's getting close so close so shoelace got him the other night Timmy Blake Road had not made a field goal since North Dakota. And he made three, and they were pure right down the pipe. Yeah. It's uh, it's fun to watch him on the sidelines, too, because, boy, he gets pretty pumped up when the team's doing well. and But he's very um, chill and low-key, so it's not – you don't worry about him getting rattled or the moment being too big for him. And so, boy, I thought it was really good to see him get – some moments to execute a field goal in when it was very much needed absolutely had to have it and so for him to know that that's a lot of confidence right there in a team when you know that you can call on a field goal kicker to make those kicks in some big time moments first six games of the year he had only attempted three and he had three attempts the other night made all three so now he's four of six on the year carl on our text line said i thought damon did an excellent job on saturday's broadcast seamless transition wishing you all continued success amen carla he was great damon did a great job knew he would uh, it's gonna be fun having him in the booth as we make our way through the uh, the season as well and they're still discussing what costume you should wear jim in columbus says superwoman greg you could dress as superman but you have to wear ends on your shirts all right jim if you send me a superman with an n a superwoman shirt with an n i will wear it but i I, where do you get that where do you make that i can't make it that's what i said that's the preface here is if whatever the costume is it cannot be something that i have to make because that is not my forte there are costume shops in town but they probably wouldn't have the n on a superman costume yeah you'd have to do something different to that uh doug in norfolk said the tv guy said numerous times that nebraska's dbs were playing most passes correct o'connell just was making passes into really tight windows well doug i'm sure they did we were saying that on our broadcast too yes i mean there were some passes that were just in no other spot than the per the one tiny little spot that you had to throw it in that's what aiden o'connell was was making on and i thought 
Quentin Newsom, and you could probably speak to this more so, did they run Charlie? They got him away from Quentin a yes, lot. Put him up in the slot. Yeah. They were very, very happy with the way that Quentin Newsom was playing Charlie Jones. And that's, boy, Quentin probably wasn't even 100%. And he was doing a great job against a wide receiver who, again, going into the game and probably now is right behind Trey Palmer in leading the nation in – receiving yards per game and receiving touchdowns he had seven going in so i thought quentin newsom when he was tasked with matching up with charlie jones did a really good job yeah and, and hey good coaches will get you away from and nebraska does that with trey too yes absolutely They'll take trey away from the other team's best defender and go let's see if that guy can cover trey yeah that's it's all about matchups right and executing favorable matchups and good offensive coordinators know how to do that mark whipple knows how to do that and that's what they did with charlie jones it's one of the things jessica that people i don't that they don't really think about that as it relates to football they think about that more in basketball you're trying to get your best defender on this guy but you might pick a, the best defender to get another guy on your star athlete it absolutely happens in football all the time yeah and you know say what you will about lincoln riley but i worked with him quite a bit at oklahoma before he went to usc and he was excellent at that at looking at a defense on film and seeing which one of your how your personnel best matches up what you can take advantage of against the other team where is there where are their weaknesses what can you do to line up your guys to have success and there are multiple ways that you can do that maybe it's travis Volkolek against certain defenses but that's where i've been so excited about what mark whipple's been able to do they, they saw it with trey this week and maybe next week it's travis Volkolek. maybe next that one week it's anthony grant you just you never know and it's when you start diving into those defenses what you see that you you best your offense can take advantage of to have success all right uh defense you did talk to some defensive guys after the game one of those being O'Shawn Mathis I really thought maybe O'Shawn would get home a time or two Saturday night did not but he did make some plays he was in on a handful of tackles in that game uh, and so O'Shawn I still think has got a huge game ahead of him before the year ends yeah I think he's kind of just settling in and you guys called his name a few times making some some decent plays so um yeah he's uh and, and again another guy that handles his business like a pro and is so great to talk to so here's O'Shawn Mathis Kakuti here with O'Shawn Mathis. Well, I know disappointing that you guys didn't come out on top, but how proud are you of the fight in this football team tonight? Yeah, I'm really proud of these guys. I know it was a, uh, looked like it was a 13-point deficit, I believe, 17. Um, we came back and we fought hard as much as we don't want the, the, the blame to be on anyone else but ourselves. We worked hard at the end of the day. We came on a, a one-point loss, but at the end of the day, we came back, we fought our asses off. What about the adjustments, too, and, and the ability of this defense to make adjustments with the run game and how you guys were able to slow that down in the second half, too? Yeah, yeah, I was really impressed with the coaches were trying to build up for us on a, uh, on the run stops and stuff like that. They're starting to implement a lot of good things with the D-line and how many guys are there and all that stuff. So all that stuff kind of just fell apart, uh, fell, fell in part of us just getting on, on top and trying to bring back the, uh, this deficit. No Luke Reimer, the Nick Henrich goes down, and I know those are two big leaders for this defense, but what can you say about the way those Vaughn and, and Ernest and those young guys stepped up? Yeah, those guys stepped up. They filled the role really quickly, and they did as much as what Nick and Vaughn, uh, not Nick and Vaughn, but uh, Nick and Luke would do. Uh, they filled their spots. They knew the importance of that uh, position, so they just came them out on top. At the end of the day, they played hard. They played hard, and I'm really proud of those guys. How much do you feel like you're getting into a rhythm? Yeah, yeah, I feel the rhythm coming along, uh, just getting in and just it, it takes just a few more games. Uh, well, a few games into the season for me to get into the rhythm and of everything. And uh, I feel good. I feel confident with these guys. Uh, things like like I said, the deficit grew into a smaller deficit at the, the, at the end of the game. And just looking forward to the next game after this bye week, we're just going to focus this week and uh, just get better. This seems like a confident football team. How confident are you and how much can you take away from these last three weeks into the bye week with still a lot of football left to play? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. With these guys, uh, what I can take forward, uh, I know from the sideline standpoint, the guys are very, um, very hopeful for a lot of uh, things that are going on. These guys, you know, cheering us on and no matter the circumstances, we're going all the way to the end of what fourth minute of uh, four minutes at the end of the fourth quarter one minute i don't know where it was but the guys were still trying to be influential and uh that's one thing i'll take on with me and i'm pretty sure a lot of guys will take that along with them as well as well sean appreciate your time thank you guys 
So there is Oshan Mathis and um, yeah, another guy I enjoy getting to talk to. And you can tell he's just settling in. It's um, forget that he wasn't here in the spring and it's so many changes that have happened. And but I think he's uh, starting to feel more confident with this with this defense and his role on this defense. Yeah, again, I, I and we've had some callers who've touched on it. You, you could look at some of the post-game numbers and say, what a terrible night for the defense. There were some good plays being made. And again, the other team has scholarship athletes as well. So kind of a combination of two. I think there's a big game still ahead for Oshawn. A couple of sacks coming up. Hopefully it's in Illinois here in two weeks. I hope so. I, I agree. I think he's... Um, He's close to being able to really let loose and have a really big breakout game. Speaking of Illinois, we learned today 2.30 kickoff for that game had not been announced until today. So it'll be our second 2.30 home game of the year. Our opener against North Dakota was at 2.30. Our night owls of Tim, Andrew, um, Matt Cotney, and Jay Foreman probably aren't real happy, but they'll have to just adapt and they're not going to be awake earlier. at two thirty and five o'clock. I know. Be re- they're not going to know what to do I with know. a big red reaction that's before midnight. They'll be disappointed. They'll probably have a little post uh, post big red reaction party after uh, that game in a couple of weeks. Programming note: Tomorrow night, our athletic director's show for the month of October. Trev Alberts will be here in hour one. So get your comments, questions ready for Trev. Uh, we'll cover, I'm sure, a wide variety of topics tomorrow night. No volleyball show tomorrow because they are traveling tomorrow. They've got a match at Purdue on Wednesday night. So that'll be another top 15 matchup with the Huskers and the Boilermakers. John Cook's volleyball show will then be on Thursday. No football show this week with a bye week. In fact, you're sitting in for JB Thursday. Yes. Um, I think Thursdays are tough for JB, so I will step right back in. I, I've done it a couple and always enjoy getting to talk with Coach Cook. It's fun, too, because he doesn't, he will obviously answer volleyball questions, but, too, he likes to talk about things outside of volleyball, he does. too. He does. Nine straight wins. What a weekend, too. They just blasted Penn State. My goodness, were they impressive Friday night. They really were. They really were. And good for them to put it together back at home. You could tell they were just so excited to be back home and inside Devaney. Just rock the Nittany Lions. Still ranked third in the country behind Louisville and Texas. I'm, my gut's telling me this thing is a collision course with Nebraska and Texas to the national championship game. That's what my gut tells me. A lot of volleyball to be played between now and mid-December, but that's that's the one I think people want to see. As long as we don't have to play them in the Sweet 16. No, no, that won't happen. Yes. I mean, the way they're going to be both top four seeds, so that's they won't play until the final four no. and hopefully the title game. I just, you know, sometimes ESPN gets, thinks they're going to be cute and put storylines in yeah. before the final four. But I think they would love a Texas Nebraska championship game too. Yeah. But I just, I, I, um, sometimes they match teams up for the sake of ratings that shouldn't probably be matched up. And hopefully that's, they're setting them up for. Can you imagine the dynamics of that with Caffey down there now. Oh my. Kana down there. Wow. Kind of give me a little excited to think about that right there. All right, 402. Sorry, Andrew. 413-2400. That's the phone number if you want to dot us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. And we also want to tell you that if the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown, you could be a winner of a $54,000 credit on a new vehicle from any Woodhouse Auto Family dealership this season. A contestant chosen each game week. Go to Huskers.com slash Woodhouse for official rules and how to get yourself entered. More of the show, more of your calls and texts coming up. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. For the fifth straight year, the University of Nebraska system is a top 100 patent earning institution. NU system researchers were granted 43 patents in 2021 with UNL researchers named as inventors on 25 of these patents. Husker patents include three projects with partners at the University of Nebraska Medical Center and six patents for a surgical robot developed by faculty in the College of Engineering. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you with the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. The Chevy truck lineup has something for everyone. From off-road adventures to navigating the city, our trucks have the strength to take on what's next. 
Plus, they are durable and come loaded with purposeful features that help you work smarter and play harder. Explore the powerful Silverado with multiple trim levels available to reach your demands. Or test drive the capable Colorado and discover the next level performance it has to offer. Find new roads at Woodhouse Chevy, in-store or online anytime at woodhousegm.com. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. Pass by Duzma, not good. Bump set over to the left, O'Gorman, the lefty, Meredith O'Gorman, a freshman, roll shots it now, Nebraska, bump to the left side, Matty Kubik, kaboom, out of system, bump set, and Kubik, night, night on that one, 20 to 13. Hey, Huskers fans, this Wednesday, Huskers Volleyball takes on Purdue in a showdown of Big Ten powers at the Devaney. John Baylor and Lauren Cook-West take the airwaves at 6.30 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the field, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a confident teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Preparation, it's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker pride, powered locally. Every day, Central Valley Ag supplies energy to our farmers to help feed the globe. CVA continuously monitors propane levels to ensure neither you nor your animals go a day without heat this winter in your home, shop, or livestock barn. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. 
Visit CVACoop.com and learn how you can lock in CVA propane pricing when you register to win heat for the entire winter with tank monitoring valued over $1,500. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. 402-413-2400, the number to dot us up with a comment or question here on a Monday night post a football weekend. Huskers drop a game, a wild one, in West Lafayette Saturday night to the Boilermakers. Carol on our text line says, as old JB often says, there's a lot of wood to chop between now and the finals in Omaha. Volleyball wars. I know, Carol, but I want to dream a little. Yeah. I, I mean, want to dream a little. Big Ten is brutal, and we've seen already a lot of different things can happen, and this team, it's been something that they've absolutely circled. Hey, the potential to play in Nebraska the entire way throughout the postseason, but they're also like the football team. We've got to take it one week at a time. But, yes, it's fun to talk about. Like, let's we see. We can do it. Yeah, we can talk about it. You probably shouldn't bring that up with Coach Cook Thursday night. No, I probably won't. But we can say, hey, it would be fun to see Texas and Nebraska. Yeah. Who would be your dream Final Four at this point? Those two in Louisville. And I was going to say Louisville. Uh, Maybe pick, another Big Ten? Pick anybody else. That would be cool if, like, a Wisconsin or Purdue could. Or Penn State. Or Penn State could get there. Yeah. 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 Um, by the way, again, Trev Alberts tomorrow night, hour one, our monthly athletic director show with Trev. I have to feel like that team got a, a surge of energy getting Nicklin back, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. get her back on the court. She's still a big part of it. I know they've tried to kind of not let her be the setter. It looks like they're better when she is, though, for that team. And I'm sure she was glad to get back out there. She'd been out about three weeks. Yeah, I mean, this team has so much talent, and they've played a lot of different lineups and done a lot of different things, which I think, you know, it's going to be good because you want to talk about, I think, from what we've heard from JB and um, or Lauren and Coach Cook on their podcasts and, and seeing matchups and exploiting those and being able to put different lineups out because you never know what could happen. And so they've been able to experiment, experiment with a lot of different uh, players. And I think even with Allie Batenhorst, we saw her be so good last year, but then with her being hurt has allowed for the emergence of Whitney Lonstein, who's played really well. And so, yeah, I think there's a lot of different options Coach Cook can roll with. Congrats to Becca Alec, named today the freshman of the week in the league. We're finally getting some league honors. Should be. Finally. Team's the league leader, so get some of those. Jeremy in Texas on our text line. For the life of me, I can't figure out what we're doing in the kick return game. One absolute stud back there and one spot filter. We need our two best studs back there and put the scare in the kickers that we face. I, I, I wonder that too, Jeremy. And I've asked Bill Bush over the summer. They call it the off returner. And that's Wine Master, and he's a great kid and a good blocker, and that's what he's out there is to try to go throw a lead block for whether it's Tommy Hill or Anthony Grant or whoever is back there. But, yeah, what, what happened to the days of putting two absolute burners back there? Especially because, you know, Anthony Grant's not afraid to block. No. <laughs> you know, I guess you Alante don't. Alante Brown could be back there blocking. Yeah, yeah I mean, both of them, because there are times that – Alante's getting praised for some of the blocking that he does. Marcus Washington's a great blocker. Sure is. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Jeremy, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I, it's so close now at this point. We've seen, um, we've seen Tommy get pretty close of breaking one off. It's, I just feel like it's going to happen, and hopefully it helps somebody win. I couldn't that. believe they kept kicking to him. Right? Why? Then they finally kind of got smart and yeah, kicked some other ones other places in, in that game the other night. Well, that's a good lead into a time for our special teams diagnosis presented by Nebraska Cancer Specialist, Nebraska Leading Community Oncology Practice. Well, the punt block was fantastic. Phelan Sanford uh, gets the punt block, the third one of the year for the Huskers. It was an okay night for Brian Buschini. Four punts, 42 yard average, but he had a couple that were short ones. Yeah, the one that led to a field goal, because I mean, it was not even, it was, did it even 30, go past the 50 yard line? No, it was like 32 yard punt. So it was um, not ideal there. He, and again, he was badly hurt against Rutgers, and so probably wasn't either 100%. Um, so hopefully he'll get back healthy and he'll get back to bombing them away after this bye week. Timmy Bleak Road, three for three. Good from 36, 43, 22. Brendan Frankie, phenomenal again. Seven kickoffs, five for touchbacks. 
And a couple of them that he hit really high that Nebraska got down and tackled him inside the 20 was almost more effective. <laughs> yeah, you kept saying that. You're like, I mean, he's pretty automatic of kicking him out of the end zone, but there were a couple of times that it ended up helping. It was even better field position for the Huskers because it pushed him back even further. So, yeah, he's solid too. And good kick returns throughout the night, mostly from Tommy Hill uh, back there bringing back kickoff. So really pretty good night for special teams for Nebraska. Nebraska Cancer Specialist delivers compassionate, personalized, and cutting-edge care in a convenient outpatient setting. They are committed to providing exceptional care and continued support to patients, families, and caregivers. 402-413-2400. That's the number if you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text. Back with more of the show coming up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Today's play of the day comes from Nebraska. We pick it up with the local sports announcer at a Nebraska lottery retailer. Dave enters the store. He makes a move to the checkout counter. Looks like he's going to pass. Yes, he's passing the clerk a few dollars. The clerk takes the handoff and spins around. It looks like he's placed the scratch tickets on the counter. And now Dave has them in his hand. It's the old scratch He scratches left. He scratches right. Oh, my. He's done it. Dave has scored a bundle of cash. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Every day, Central Valley Ag supplies energy to our farmers to help feed the globe. CVA continuously monitors propane levels to ensure neither you nor your animals go a day without heat this winter in your home, shop, or livestock barn. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Visit CVACoop.com and learn how you can lock in CVA propane pricing when you register to win heat for the entire winter with tank monitoring valued over $1,500. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant decal brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with decal. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For 46 years, our focus has been our customers at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont. Come see for yourself how easy buying your new car, truck, or SUV at Sid Dillon can be. Stop by our dealership in Fremont to order your new vehicle and shop in stock and inbound inventory. And if you need a commercial vehicle, we're your GMC Business Elite dealer. Shop at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. GMC, we are professional grade. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. 
When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY2000 through 2021 sales. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker Athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. We're inside of our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you on a Monday following a Husker game. Huskers drop one on the road at Purdue over the weekend. 402-413-2400 of the phones we go to West Point. Husker Dan, you're up next. Good evening. Good evening, Greg and Jessica. How are you two? Fantastic, thanks. Good. Hey, Greg. <laughs> Your pick. <laughs> Vikings are five and one, buddy. Why you seem surprised? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. But I tell you what. Uh, you know, we just we're going to have some tougher teams coming, and I we just need to pick up, pick it up, and and keep going, keep rolling with this. I want a Super Bowl. They're going <laughs> to win I the division. Die. They're going to win the division. I think that's. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, my second thing is Trey Palmer. How come he got snubbed by the Big Ten? Did we have to win that game for yeah, him to get? I think they do. The voters of that probably do lead lend themselves to the picking guys who were on winning teams to give those weekly honors to. That's unfortunate because uh, that was an amazing night. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he was just phenomenal. He was his speed is just crazy. And last and foremost, and this is this is really part of you too, I Greg. Congratulations to Damon Benning to join the radio broadcast. And I'm going to say that, you know, he, he says it like it is, and, and I like that. And, and between you two being on the radio together, I think that is, that is just going to be so cool. Thank you for saying that, Dan. I, Damon was, as, as I knew he would be, very prepared, very professional, and did a great job. Yep. I thought it was fun okay. to listen to uh, being on the sideline and listening to you guys. And I mean, obviously he's done a, this a lot and you've done this a lot, but it's still not easy when you've been with someone for as long as you have with Matt. And I thought, boy, it was just, it was pretty seamless and he was entertaining at times and had some karate kid references. Does that... Andrew know who Mr. Miyagi is? Right. All right. Okay. So you were worried that people wouldn't well, know yeah, who Mr. Miyagi is, but uh, Cobra Kai is a big deal now. I know, and I haven't seen Cobra Kai, so do they talk about Miyagi? Yes, a lot. Mr. They Miyagi, do. he's not in it, but he's Please. referenced he's, a ton. Because their, their karate now is, is Miyagi-Do. Because that's, so yeah, M Mr. Miyagi okay. is even like with the young kids, I would I do want to go see Cobra Kai. That's so on my it's list. like a series. I think it's yeah. like in the fourth season. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, you, you that, that was funny. I have watched it, yeah. yeah. You guys watch Cobra Kai? 
No? That's um, on my list. But, you know, that that was funny. There's some funny things that happened. And, um, yeah, it was, it was. I thought it was a, one of our better broadcasts of the year. And a lot of it was the game was so good, yeah. too. So um, it was fun. It was great to listen to you guys. And I agree. I mean, we've gotten a lot of compliments on that. And I've um, heard, uh, I know, it, um, he settled in really well. And I, it was fun to have him on board. Dan, yeah, appreciate the call. Again, 402-413-2400, the number to dot us up with a comment or question. Time to tell you to buckle up, put the phone down, a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Time to see what is on tap, presented by Bud Light. Husker Volleyball on the road, a Wednesday night match, 7 o'clock first serve at Purdue, who got swept at home yesterday by Maryland. Yikes, that dropped them out of the top 10, but that's still a pretty talented team that the Huskers will play Wednesday night. We'll have it for you here on the network. Huskers soccer, there's only two matches left in the regular season for soccer. They'll have one of them at home Thursday with Penn State out at Hibner Stadium, 705. Huskers dropped one at Iowa City yesterday. They'll, they're, they're in really good shape to make the league tournament. They're currently in seventh place in the league. In fact, they may have already mathematically locked up a spot in the Big Ten tournament, but uh, Penn State at home. Thursday night, 7.05. Uh, and then, hey, we got Husker basketball this week. The men will have their exhibition game with Shadron, 1 o'clock Sunday at PBA. We'll have it for you here on the network with Jake and KP with a noon pregame coverage on Sunday. And I'm calling it on VTM Plus with Eric go. Strickland. So go. we've got you covered all the way around. October 23rd. That's wow. early. Oh, it's seems really super early. That is what is on tap, presented again by Bud Light. Uh, Husker football off this week. If you didn't hear today, they did set the game time for Illinois 2.30 a week from Saturday. So our pregame coverage begins at 10.30 on that Saturday morning. I'm glad it's 2.30. How about the games in college football this weekend? What a weekend. So good. So good. Um, And we were able, again, with the night game, able to watch quite a bit of it. But, yeah, just some wild games. Fun. But, hey. It's, um, I always love to see Alabama go down. Does that knock Alabama? Can Alabama get back into the playoff picture? Or does oh, that eliminate yes, them? they can. Okay. It's Bama, okay. especially if Georgia stubs their toe. Right, and Georgia and Tennessee do play. And if Tennessee, I, I think Tennessee uh, will probably be the odd man out if it comes to where it might be between, even though. Even if it's between Bama and Tennessee. Whoever, it's it, this deal, it's whoever loses uh, first. If you lose first and then you keep winning, a lot of times that writes the ship because if you lose late, that's when you uh, shoot yourself in the foot of not getting in. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Right now, it looks like you could have two SEC and two Big Tens make the playoff because you have Ohio State, Michigan, and maybe Tennessee, Georgia. That'd be wild. That'd be wild. But Although, if, UCLA, TCU, if TCU runs the table, I think they get in. UCLA. UCLA, but they have to still have to play USC, right? That's going to be. They do. That's going to be a good matchup. Have you looked at the picks for this week? Uh, yeah, we've already talked about this, and I know. But UCLA. That's oh. a big game. Oh, I thought you meant from last week. Yeah, I thought you were trying to rub it no, in again that UCLA I had a bad week. Oregon this week. That's one of our games we're picking. I I think UCLA is the real deal. They're going to go on the road to Oregon. This will be a tester for them coming up this week. There's some really good matchups this week. K-State, TCU, that'll be a good matchup in the Big 12. You've got uh, and Tennessee does not – they play Georgia, I think, November the 5th. That is going to be a monster game. So – Looking forward to some of these big matchups still to come uh, around the country. Nebraska 811 says, go dig, Red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, and, of course, it's the law. All right, still time if you want to be a part of the program tonight. And when we come back, we'll have everybody's weekend winners straight ahead. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. 
Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. And Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. To win the game, you gotta have more strength. You gotta be tougher. You gotta be reliable. You gotta want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Bank of the West is offering the first checking account designed for climate action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you shows you the estimated carbon impact of debit card purchases and there's no minimum balance required learn more at bankofthewest.com slash one percent additional conditions apply member fdic farmers mutual of nebraska is proud to support husker athletics having a confident teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most with the proven track record of dependable coverage unmatched financial strength and a prompt claim service team right here in nebraska that's insurance kept local visit fmne.com to contact an agent for a quote today farmers mutual of nebraska always alongside you we're back inside our huskers radio network broadcast center which is sponsored by acres the midwest premier john deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. It's a Monday night. Crypto King in our chat room says, guys, what about Clemson? They're undefeated. I don't know who beats the Tigers. I think they, they'll they certainly have a, 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 a case to make, I think, when the playoff gets picked out. Of the, but I just uh, don't think the ACC is strong enough. We'll see. I mean, but. Undefeated. It's going to be hard to ignore that if they go true. undefeated through that yeah. thing. Yeah. All right, time for the weekend winners. Tim, you can lead us off tonight. Well, it was one of the only things I got right this weekend, but Tennessee upsetting Alabama. I'm going to go with Hendon Hooker, the quarterback there Ooh. at uh, at Tennessee. Had one of the all-time performances, I think, and you could say against Alabama ever in terms of, was that a school record of points given up, or at least under Saban, I think it was? was under Saban, uh, yeah. And last year he played Alabama, and they lost by, I think it was 28 points. Um last year when Tennessee played Alabama. So uh, just that was just an awesome game and just the way that game all unfolded. And I was sweating here watching it because I knew we would have pick segment next week and I had gotten everything else wrong, basically. So <laughs> I was sweating out, but it was a fun game and he he was awesome. So I wish I could have seen more of it. We were deep in the pregame at that point. We had it on a couple laptops, so it was hard to focus in on that. $100,000 fine for Tennessee for storming the field. <laughs> video think they mind that? Well worth it, yeah. I'm sure. Well worth it? Yeah, I'm sure that's what they're saying. Was it their president in the luxury box who said that on – someone got a video of him as the field goal poster being torn down and he's smoking a cigar saying, <laughs> well, that's going to cost a lot. <laughs> we're good. Just set up a GoFundMe thing, and I'm sure the volunteer <laughs> Is that fans. for always rushing the field in the SEC? Because in the Big 12, it's 20000 It was their second fine. Oh, okay. Because they had been fined in 06 for a basketball storming the court. Okay. Which I think wow, is it doesn't – It doesn't reset. Re- oh, so wow. I, that, I thought that was crazy, too. I thought that was crazy, too, but they didn't mm. look too bothered. 100K. That's <laughs> – Wow. Um, Andrew, you have a winner from the weekend for us. I did have a winner that played last week, and he won. I'm going Mitch Trubisky, Money Mitch. Oh, your quarterback of the Steelers. He came in when he needed to in the clutch, went Kenny Pickett going out with the concussion in the third, 
He came in, dropped a touchdown. He had about 190 something yards, Tim, I think. Uh, close to 120, but we'll 100, take, we'll 100, take 190. Sorry, 120. And <laughs> I mean, he came in and, and he showed up. So that's exactly what I needed him to do when he was supposed to be our starting quarterback from the get go. This is what he showed, and I was impressed by him. I think every time the Steelers win, which won't be a lot, the, <laughs> the Tim or Andrew's going to make one of their oh, guys. Oh, for sure. Wicked winner. Well, and now 100%. Damon's a Steelers fan, so we have to oh, add no. another oh, one. Yeah, Damon's a huge Damon's, Steelers guy. I think I don't want to take him if he's already someone else's winner of the week, but he just became mine. So <laughs> there we go. Wow, wow, wow. Same with me. All right, Jessica, what do you have? Okay, so history was made at the NSAA State Softball Championships. Rhonda Ravel retweeted this one. An all-female umpire crew for the very first time. You don't have the first names, but or the last names, but Renee, Jessica, Megan. Boy, there is some talent playing high school softball here. And you look at even the players that are playing collegiately. Our team is loaded with players from the state of Nebraska. And so that is awesome and good to see that all women there on that umpire crew at the uh, state championships this week. We got to talk about Malcolm in the state finals. They coached a girl to not even grant. There were two runners on base. You guys seen the video of this? Mm -hmm. Second and third, there was a ball hit to the right side of the infield, so the runner at third was definitely going to score. The runner at second just kind of diagonally crosses the diamond and comes home, and it counts. And apparently, they're taught to do that because the umpires aren't going to make that call. It has to be an appeal from the other team, and if the other team isn't watching, they're not going to notice that she crossed the diamond. And the coach was bragging about it afterwards. So you saying, don't have to touch all the bases. We executed perfectly on that play. Oh my God. You have to touch home, but you don't have to touch third or second. If they don't catch you. Wow. And he bragged about it. Apparently his job's on the line because he bragged about it. My team executed that perfectly. My wow. brother ran the bases like that in T-ball, and I made fun of him for it for 20 years. So he's going <laughs> to love to hear that. Go, Folks, go look at it. It's all over social media. We were looking at it on the bus in and, and West Lafayette over the weekend. My weekend winner is Becca Alec. Comes off the sickness, played terrific volleyball name today to Big Ten Freshman of the Week. I can't wait for, for you to get a conversation with her. We'll catch up with her before the she's, season ends. I've been told so many times that she has a fantastic personality. In fact, we had a texter on Coach Cook's show uh, a couple weeks ago ask him, who has the best personalities or the craziest personalities? I can't remember exactly what it was, but she was one of them. So I can't wait. I've heard she's going to be a fantastic guest for the podcast. So we'll get her on hopefully coming up. Well, I was going to get her last week, but then had some, uh, she was sick and with the traveling, but we'll get her on here. Well, so. and we had not talked to Whitney. Yes, no. So it was great to hear uh, Yeah, her. we'll get both of them on. I, I We needed to get a volleyball athlete, but they were on the road and so it was tough to do, but we'll, we'll, get, them on. we'll get her on again. And terrific yesterday. They did a, a salute to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. They wore pink all over the place they had it even honored some people who were breast cancer survivors down on the field they also had she was either 92 or 93 year old lady huge husker volleyball fan had never been to a match they got her in this the vanny center yesterday and honored her on the court how cool is that so cool so 93 awesome 93 years old never been they do such a good job with their pink games here uh, women's basketball and um, volleyball and softball has a pink game too so Love that. It's, I know it's a big initiative but for the Big Ten Conference as well in Coaches versus Cancer, right. so love that. And, hey, I can't believe nobody picked Trey Palmer. If he's not going to be the Big Ten winner of the week, he can be our Sports Nightly winner of the that? week. Just phenomenal. Weekend. He won't talk about himself, no, though, right? he is a team guy. That's what you love about it. A lot of wide receivers are not. They want theirs, and they want their moment in the sun and spotlight, and he is not that guy. All right, folks, tomorrow night, it's Trev Albert's monthly show, hour number one, so be ready to listen text fire off some phone calls he'd love to hear from you tomorrow night as well nebraska 811 says go dig red before you dig always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked it's free it's easy and it's the law and all you denver fans you're having fun tonight you're up 10 nothing on the chargers have a great night we're back tomorrow night good night Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raise local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. 
families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash Huskers. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. First of all, I want to tell you guys how proud I am of you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for how hard you've worked, going through a lot, all this adversity. And I can't begin to tell you how proud I am of you. Thank you for representing us so well. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for Sports Nightly at 6 p.m. as Trev Alberts hosts his monthly athletic director show, taking your calls and texts through 7 p.m.